This Cam Twist Studio tutorial will show you how to use these different special effects to go between the different sources inside of the interface. Well, let me show you. We've got these different buttons on the right hand side. Cut, Dissolve, Effect, and then we've got all the different special effects we can choose. How long we want the special effects to go for, a swap mode and clear. So, what does that mean? First things first, let's add a nameplate onto the screen. So I'm going to click on nameplate and I want to dissolve that onto the screen. So I'll click the dissolve button and will automatically dissolve for two seconds because that's what the time is set to. If I set that to 0.5, it's going to be half of a second. I click on it again, hit dissolve, and it's going to take half a second to go off the screen or half a second to come back on the screen. I could set that to 5 and now it's going to be painfully slow. I'll click dissolve. Anytime now. Almost done. Almost there. There we go. And I can also cut that on the screen. So if I click on the nameplate, I click cut, it goes on the screen, click on it again, click cut, it goes off the screen. 99% of the time you're going to be using cut and dissolve. If you watch your local news or any basic television show, it's almost always cut, 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 dissolve. So I can go over here, I go to my calendar, I'll say, you know, one second for my dissolve, I'll click on that, I'll dissolve in my calendar, there we go, I'll go from there, back to my... But you know... Sometimes you want to use that special effect, and sometimes you just want to show off what Cam Twist can do, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually add my nameplate on the screen, and we're going to go to the calendar. We're going to take the nameplate off when we go to the calendar, and we're going to do a special effect. We'll start the calendar right there. Let's do a page curl for one second. So I've got page curl selected, one second selected. I'll click effect, and you'll see it page peels off the screen. Uh, let's do something else. Let's do like a ripple. Let's go back to me with a nameplate, so you'll see me ripple. There we go. Let's do something a little bit longer. Let's do a three second ripple back to the video right here. So we'll take the nameplate off again. We'll affect. And now this time, let's actually do the same thing, but let's go back to me without an effect. So you can kind of see how it just goes between the two. All depends on what you've got in your preview. Your effect will affect to whatever's in preview. So now I'm adding my, my nameplate back on the screen. Pretty cool stuff. One thing you may want to do is if you're swapping between two different cameras constantly, you may want to turn on what's called the swap mode. And what that does is whatever is in preview is automatically going to swap and be put in, I'm sorry, whatever is in program is going to swap and be put into preview. So if I now cut again and back and forth, you can see they're just swapping back and forth. If I want to do it this way so that I've got the nameplate on me but just the images on that side, when I cut over, you'll see that the nameplate follows me over. So it's just swapping from program to preview and from preview to program, making it really easy for me to cut between these two sources. Now be careful because you got whatever's in preview is exactly what's going to go to program. So if you start messing with it and you've got swap mode on, it's very easy to get confused and forget to take something off the screen or leave something on the screen that you shouldn't. And finally, let's say we want to get out of all of this. I'm going to, uh, let's just turn that off and let's just go to that. Now I, wanna, I just want to go to black at this point. I don't care what's on there. I'm going to hit the clear button and whatever was in program, and this, that was a bad example. Let's bring something up so we've got multiple things. You'll see these are, these are both red right now. If I hit clear, it's going to bring them both off air. They both turn to amber. It's going to clear everything out. And the next thing I do when I cut off that, boom, it's gone. Everything has gone to black. That's what clear does. It clears everything out. It's kind of like a global pre fade to black option. It just clears everything out, gives you a regular old timeline. The other thing that that could be useful for is if I've got a bunch of things on the screen, I don't know what's going on. I just, uh, just clear all of it out. And now I want to go to my calendar as well. So I cleared it all out, put calendar in my preview, cut, boom. Off you go. And that is how to use special effects inside of the Cam Twist Studio interface.